my lovely friends, it's Margaret, and it is time to talk about what I will be reading in January. Welcome to day five of the 12 Days of Margaret. Today, we are gonna be talking about my January TBR. If you are new to my channel, the 12 Days of Margaret is just kind of an end of the year, get to know me little thing I do, starting on my birthday, which is the 27th, and going through 12 days, because that's how the 12 Days of Christmas works, but we're starting on my birthday instead. You may or may not know that I am a co-host for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. If you had not had a chance to check out that video, I will have it up top. I am going to be going over my TBR for the first three boards that I will be trying to complete for that challenge. Yes, I am aware of the irony of me talking about Marvel superheroes while wearing a Catwoman shirt, but I don't care. It's the first of the year. I wanted some good luck. This is my favorite shirt that I own. And also, I'm just mad that the DCEU is not doing as well as the MCU. Marvel really just went in with a much clearer, conciser, better plan. They knew what they were doing. DC was just like, we're gonna throw a bunch of movies together and See if we can make things match up. Warner Brothers, hire me. I can fix your problems. If you didn't know about the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge, it is a challenge that is going through the entire of 2021. We are starting with the superheroes from the original Avengers movie. We're releasing seven boards. We're releasing Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, and Nick Fury for the month of January, and we'll be releasing more characters as we go throughout the year. The main goal is to read books and add characters to your team, so I will be starting out with three boards this month. I am going to be trying to work on all seven this month because I am reading the group book, since I am one of the hosts, like I kind of have to. Uh, the group book you are able to use across all boards, so I will be starting all seven boards. <laughs> this month. Uh, but there are three that I am going to be trying to complete the mission log for specifically. I am going to be working on Captain America, Hulk, and Thor. I may try and work on Nick and Natasha when I am, like, if I finish these books, but I've got 10 books on this list, so we'll see. But I will be reading our group book, which is A Legend Born by Tracy Dion. From what I understand, this is about Brie. Her mother has recently died, and she finds out about this world called, or this world that surrounds the, the Legend Born. There are monsters and magic and all kinds of stuff, and somehow it is linked to King Arthur, and she meets a Merlin, and he is trying to guide her through the fact that she has discovered that she is also a Legend Born. So she's trying to infiltrate the Legend Born and do something like about. Like, I think she's either trying to bring them down or find out what exactly happened to her mother. Doesn't, doesn't really matter to me. I'm gonna read it. This book, like I said, is the group book, so you are able to use it to complete missions on every character's mission log that you are working on that month. So I'm gonna let you know what prompts this book fulfills. I do, we do have it posted in our Discord, and I think I'm gonna get it up on our Twitter, so it should all be up by now. Uh, but I am gonna just run over it real quick, so you know. Uh, and I'm gonna start with the four boards that I am not working on like not focusing on this month. The first one is Black Widow and this fits the prompts for female empowerment and book about a character with a secret identity. It fits a book about found family and a book about revenge for Hawkeye's boar. It fits a book about a resourceful character, a book with a metallic or gold cover, and then a book about survival for Iron Man's boar. For Fury's prompts, it fits unlikely team, book by a by POC author, and mysterious character. Editing Margaret popping in because I forgot to mention that Legendborn is on script. So if you know that platform or if you've used that service at all for audiobooks, you can go ahead and download the audiobook. I will have a link in my description where you can get one or two months free off of script. I can't remember what the intro is, but it will allow you to try out script for like a month or two so that you can get this audiobook and join in in our little reading challenge. So the first board that I am going to complete this month, you can complete them in any order. You can work on them as long as you need to, but the first board that I am going to complete this month because it is requisite for me to complete another board this month is going to be Cap's board. For Cap's board, Legend Born fits book about an underdog, book that focuses on the theme of sacrifice, and then a book about a character that is thrust into leadership. I will be using it to complete uh, the book about an underdog because Brie just definitely sounds like an underdog. And then I am also participating in the like Grishaverse read-along with Monica Kim and a whole bunch of other people, and so I am going to be reading Shadow and Bone next month by Lee Bardugo. I'm reading the entire first sh the Shadow and Bone trilogy, but Shadow and Bone specifically, I have a collector's edition that is coming towards me, so I am going to be using it to complete prompts for the uh, book with the stars on the cover, and then a book about a character that is thrust into leadership. All of the other prompts on Castboard are going to be knocked out by The Black Cabinet, The Untold Story of African Americans and Politics During the Age of Roosevelt by Jill Watt. So this is about, the, like, the early days um, in the 1900s, I want to say, because it's Roosevelt, so it's the early 1900s that this is covering, and it just follows this group of black men that were using the influence they had to affect policy choices and to push 
for civil rights, I am assuming, uh, through the politicians that they knew. So from there we move on to Hulk's board. Legendborn is going to be covering read a book about transformation and read a big book. And then because I have completed Cap's mission log, I get his superpower, which is to use one of the books from his mission log to complete a mission on another person's mission log. And I am going to use the Black Cabinet to complete read a book that will make you angry because I am sure I will be very angry reading that book. That's usually what happens. From there, I will be knocking out the entire bottom row of Hulk's board by reading Heist Society. That is going to do book about an insecure character, book about an expert genius, and read a comfort book. This is one of my favorite series. I have loved it since I was like in my early 20s. And then for Explores Friendship and Science and a book with Greed on the cover, I am going to be rereading To Best the Boys by Mary Weber. I read this last year, did a whole review on it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good solid four stars. And I wanted to reread it and see how it, because I got it as an arc. So I wanted to reread it and see how, you know, kind of see if I, like how I felt about the finished version, see if I could notice any changes. It has been a while, so I probably won't notice any of them, but I did enjoy it and I've been meaning to reread it. And then from there, we will be moving on to the final mission log that I will be working on, which is Thor's mission log, or putting concerted effort into, which is Thor's mission log. I will be using Legendborn to complete the prompt for read a book about mythology. And then I will be reading Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore for the Graceling read-along. Whatever Sarah and Christine are doing, they have a title for it. I am part of the live shows at this point, so I'm reading Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore because I need to have it read by the 19th? January 19th, I think? It's, a, it's that, like, middle Saturday in January. 16th. January 16th. And we're going to be doing the live show probably around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But the point is, I will be reading this. It is going to be covering the prompts for a character trying to prove themselves, book about nobility and royalty, and then set in another world. And then to complete the prompts for set in a small town and book about siblings, I will be reading The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This I have heard nothing but good things about. I am so excited to be reading it. This is about a pair of sisters and they are both born light-skinned and so one of them is able to pass for white and she lives her life pretending to be a white woman and then one of them lives her life as a black woman. It's set in the 60s and I know it delves a lot into colorism and racism from the perspective of these two women. And then the final book that I am adding, I'm not sure which book it is yet um, because there are two. There's Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young that would fulfill Vikings and then I believe also Depression and then there's another one called Hall of Smoke by H.M. Long who it's it's Viking inspired and so I think it might also hit Vikings and Depression, but it doesn't come out until next year. So I'm going to see if I can, if I'll be able to get my hands on it, whether I'm going to be able to get my hands on it from my, my library or if I will need to, like, if Scribd or something is going to have it. Because I don't like, with completely new authors, I don't really like to get their books until I've read them. From what I was reading about it, I think it's going to fit both of those prompts. If not, I'm pretty sure one of the other books that I am reading for Thor will discuss depression at some kind of a point in it. I do kind of feel that way just through having read the synopsis. And those are all of the books that I am trying to read in January. Uh, if you have any suggestions for books that would fit some of the missions on other mission logs, let me know. I am always looking for suggestions. I'm trying to stick to what I have on my shelves as much as possible or what I could get from my library. I am trying not to buy a lot of new books for this challenge just to fit prompts. I just don't really, if I'm gonna buy a book, I want it to be because I'm gonna enjoy it and because I want it and not because I just need it for a prompt. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are interested in learning more about the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge, I will have my video for it linked up top. From there, you can find me and all of the other hosts' information on the read-along, read-a-thon, reading challenge, whatever we're calling it. I will also have another video over here that you can watch if you enjoyed this video. That is it for now, my friends. Happy reading, and I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy, nerdy things. Bye!